Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at TrueNAS apps. TrueNAS's Docker-like feature where we can run containerized software virtualized inside of TrueNAS. So this is one of the nicest features of TrueNAS is the fact that we can use it like a virtualization server and deploy software from it rather than having to run a separate virtualization software like Proxmox EXSI or XPNG. So first thing from we're going to do here from the dashboard is to click on apps. And this is the default apps page. It starts off looking like this. Let's go ahead and click check available apps to find out what we're able to get for apps. So it looks like right out of the box, we're unable to get any apps. So now that we have our pool initialized by clicking on settings and choose pool and selecting our drive, then choosing it, we're waiting for the TrueNAS system to initialize the apps service. So I'll be back with you when this is finished and, and I'll show you the next steps. So now that the apps service is running and we have our green check mark, let's click discover apps and then let's click refresh charts. And here we have our list of available apps that we can try out. Now a very common one that people like to run and one that I very much enjoy myself on my home lab is going to be Home Assistant. So let's try to deploy this and see what the whole process looks like. To deploy this, I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna press install. I'm gonna to agree to the EULA. I would suggest that you read it before confirming and clicking agree. Now we can see that we're using version 2.016. We're gonna to want to change our time zone as it defaults to Los Angeles. And I'm gonna set mine to New York because I'm here on the East Coast. User IDs, group IDs can all stay the same for me for now. And we'll notice that it's gonna be on web port 2810. And we'll want to make sure we remember that. Everything else looks good. So let's go ahead and hit install. Now that we've done a bunch of stuff, you'll see that our status has come up. We've come to a new window and it says it's deploying. Let's wait for a message to tell us that it's deployed and we can try checking out this particular service. Off camera, I also went ahead and set up a pie hole configuration. And part of why I did that is my home assistant wasn't changing from deploying to running as you can see here that Pi-hole did. And the reason for that is that Home Assistant actually has a setup process that has to be run once you deploy the container. And you can actually see this once I hit this web portal button, which will bring us to the initial configuration of our container here. One thing I wanna note is I mentioned earlier in the video that they were Docker-like, and that is very true, but it is running Kubernetes or KAS. And so it's a little different than Docker, but very similar containerization technology. The same thing can be done here by clicking PyHole, Web Porthole, and you can see that we have that. There's also, which is out of the scope of this video, a way that you can run your own custom applications. And I also did find a way, as I was looking through here, a way that we can pull in Docker images from Docker Hub itself. So I hope you enjoyed this video, you found it informational, and it was able to help you get your apps process inside of TrueNAS up and running. Happy exploring all the TrueNAS has to offer for apps or containerization. As always, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything continue to grow. Have a good night.